everyone, my name is Katie, and today I'm playing Life is Strange. So let's get started. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse yeah, for fucking girls and their bathroom use. Oh my god. Could you let the fire department check that out? Should I talk to you? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm, I'm I just did almost see someone get shot a lot Is that all you're thinking about? He's sweating pinballs. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I'm gonna report Nathan. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored no students. That makes no difference. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is serious charge <laughs> oh look into the matter. the matter personally thank you for bringing it to my attention i don't trust this you is it after what i told you we'll continue this discussion later in my office please go outside with the rest of your class now miss caulfield wow whatever of course this academic drone won't do anything since the prescott family owns blackwell now should i rewind and change my story yeah stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... Alright, I'm gonna hide the truth. Okay. Well, I guess I hid the truth. Hold on, Max. Come back here. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I had I had the truth. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And female do you think trouble. that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team too again. You know, I've I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. <laughs> don't You've think I don't see past your period. Causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. I wasn't the one with the gun. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yeah. Either way. Yes, I, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Nope. Okay. Flash drive. Need some info. Sorry, running late. Ugh. 
checklist. All right. Back. Oh, back. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Okay, so it doesn't say anything to my dorm room. Nope. All right. Back. I don't know why you want me to open that then. Back. Dormitories. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me now that I have bad sense of direction. Who, who went straight to the dormitories? This girl. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. <laughs> yeah, bring it. Yeah. Get some. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. at my dorm. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Uh, the one and the same. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. Yeah. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> wow. You're an awful Since human you being. Know all the answers. I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. All right. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, okay. yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Kidding? Look at this! Jill Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Right, can I get into my dorm now? All right, so now do I do this water pump? I don't know. Need the water pump again. Nope. All right. I need to figure this out.
are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. No, 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 I need that bucket. Okay, can I click on anything? Can I do anything? I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Okay, let's see if this works. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. <laughs> yeah. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, no. Nope. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yeah. I've wanted to do that to bullies before. Never like thought about spilling paint on them. But certainly a revenge. Uh, hey, Victoria. Yeah, what do you Victoria. want, Max? I'm gonna comfort her, though. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Aww. Bonding. I hope the sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go fuck yourself -y. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Well, that was nice. All right, good. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. I better get to my room before I don't I care. I feel good about my decision. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to stop this episode here. 
If you like it, press the like button. Go ahead and share it with your friends. Subscribe for more. And till next time, bye.